We're back now with the hot box. Earlier, we told you how Portland police are reviewing how they respond to suicide calls or situations with suicide suicidal people. And this after a few recent cases in Portland that ended with deadly use of force. So joining us now is Jason Renault, who is a mental health advocate. Thank you for making the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Let me start by asking you what happens when someone either sees a situation where someone's in a mental health crisis. Our, our first instinct is to pick up the phone and call 911. What would you say to, to people in that situation? Well, it's not a crime to be afraid and it's not a crime to be sad. It's not a crime to be depressed. But if we send the police after every person who calls for help, then we are effectively criminalizing mental illness. Who should people call? Well, the Multnomah County has a mental health crisis hotline that's not well promoted, but is well managed and is very capable of screening these calls and, if necessary, diverting a call to 911. So you would recommend, and the numbers are on the screen, so you can see them. We actually have it for Multnomah County, various counties around the entire area, as well as a website that you can visit for additional information. How how frequently are we seeing these sorts of calls um, coming in? Is this something that is on the rise? Um, well, Chief Reese said we have 1,200 calls last mm -hmm. year coming in to 911. Mental illness is a public health issue, not a crime, not a criminal issue. Those calls should be going to a public health resource. So what needs to happen in, in the future if, if these calls are getting directed to um, police officers in the, in the short term until people are made aware they're going to continue to make those sorts of calls, what do you want to see the police department do? Well, the police department has done a lot of important things over the past five or six years to improve the training and improve the orientation to people in crisis. Four officers uh, daily working with people in crisis. So we're very happy to see the progress that Chief Reese is reporting today. You know, I've, I have reported on a number of closures of mental health facilities um, just in the 11 years I've been here. I have really seen that change. And I remember at the time, uh, police officers and first responders expressing concern that this was going to become essentially something they were going to have to deal with. So broader than this, what needs to happen as a, a community? Can we get the funding to reopen the sorts of centers and the, the, make available the sorts of resources we need? Well, you're exactly right. And the police are right that this was a predictable crisis. People don't stumble into a suicidal condition overnight. This is a long time coming, and we've known very well that we have not provided sufficient services for people with addiction issues or mental health issues in our community for decades. So it's going to take a long time to get us out of this, and it's going to take a lot of money. Were you satisfied? You were at the press conference today that Chief Reese held. Were you satisfied with what you heard? Well, I certainly think the police uh, are looking at this more closely than ever before, and Portland is probably ahead of the rest of the nation at looking at this issue. And that's been brought about by those uh, very well-known cases of use of force and by the Department of Justice coming to town to uh, review the police uh, procedures. What would you recommend to someone maybe who is not in this situation themselves but suspects it of someone else? Maybe it doesn't warrant a, a call or maybe it does warrant a call to a mental health professional to get more help. What, what would you say to someone at home who's wondering, I don't know if I should get involved, I don't know what I should do? Well, you should get involved. And how we uh, solve crisis is by anticipating crisis and acting before it occurs. And calling those mental health crisis lines are very good for friends and families, even neighbors. If you're concerned about someone, it's time to act. Jason Renault, thank you very much for making the time. I appreciate it. You're